let's talk about friend functions or friends. So first of all, I'm going to go to create a class. This is the account class. And my account class is going to have both public and private. So I'll go private and I'll do public. And my private variables include a string. And that'll be the owner of the account. And I got a float for an amount in the account. So it's kind of like a bank account. And I'll go ahead and create a constructor. So account. And I'm going to pass in my owner. So let's do owner. And I'll pass in some amount. All right. And I'll go ahead and set these. So the this owner is equal to owner and this amount is equal to the amount being passed in all right now i'm also going to have some basic um, deposit withdrawals get balance so do avoid deposit and i'm just going to pass in a float amount and I'll just update the amount. So this amount plus equals MT and the avoid withdraw. And float AMT. And so it just has some basic functionality. And you can see that for these, uh, they can use the methods or they can use the internal variables because they are part of this class. However, what if I wanted to be able to do more uh, and actually see things outside of it? Well, so the first friend function I'm going to do is going to allow me to put things, the insertion operator to put things onto a stream. So I'll do a STD. Uh, o stream and operator and this one allows me to insert stuff into the O stream but then other things can insert into this so we'll get that and we'll call this my OS and I will pass in const account reference let's make one more C in the account and what I want to do for this probably is we just want to see what's in the account so maybe I'll have a open parenthesis and after that I'll print out the uh, right hand side owner and then after that maybe I'll have a colon space and then I'll have a right hand side amount and then I'll have a close parenthesis so you can kind of see generally what it is and then I'll return OS so you can have other things on the line as well all right so I'm gonna go ahead and create an account and test it out first so I've got my account so ACCT1 account one is going to be for Alice and she has an account balance of $100 and that's good so I can go ahead and print in right here I'll just put a CCT one and then it'll use the insertion operator to display this so I'll run this and you can see Alice 100 and I can have this inside of other stuff on this the C outline. All right. Now I can also make a deposit. So ACT1 deposit. And notice that in order to do this, I am using the public method inside of this class right here. And so I'll deposit $100 into her account. So she should have $200. And I'll go ahead and run this. And we can see that now Alice is at $200. All right. 
Now I'm going to create a, another friend one, and this one's kind of a friend reference. And what this does is it will allow me to write a function outside of the class that is friendly to the class. And what does a friendship get you? Well, it gets you access to private variables. So I'll call it backdoor. And maybe I want to have a pass in account reference, the ACCT, because this isn't tied to a specific account. It has to have some kind of a reference, otherwise it doesn't really do much. And then I'm going to have a new, maybe balance. All right, so I can put that there. And outside of this, somewhere else, I'm going to write my void back door. And it's going to pass in this account. And ACT and my float float new balance. And what this one will do is it will take this account that it receives right here, this referenced account ACCT, and it will change a variable inside of that. So ACT amount equals new balance. And that's what it does. It just jumps in there and changes it. Normally I couldn't change that because amount is a private variable. So I can't just go here and say, you know, I can't say ACC one dot um, amount because it doesn't see that one. It's not a publicly visible, it's a private member. But what I can do now is use this back door, back door, pass in the account, ACT1, and the new balance right here. So let's say some large amount of money, and suddenly Alice can be wealthy. I run this, and it jumps in there and overrides her account and gives her 100,000. She's probably pretty happy. So you can see that you have these, these things right here. The friend, it has to be given. You can't just insert something or operate on this object directly without a friend designation right here. This friend keyword does mean that you are allowed to do something outside of it. It's taking this, this backdoor method and saying, we trust this backdoor method. We trust it. We know it won't do anything bad to us. And so we're going to allow it to happen. And then the backdoor method can be written and it can then go in and access the private variables. So this is how you do friend functions or methods and you make them work.